What a game that was. That was fantastic. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We do have a very exciting deck brought to us. Ooh, there we go. Uh, brought to us by the amazing Sonio. So Sonio did create this list. It is an is it dragons list, but it's a reinvention of the list a little bit. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Before we do, I just want to encourage you, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We just wrapped up our Kamigawa giveaway. However, we will be having more giveaways coming in the very near future. And so subscribing will always be part of the entry for that. And so if you would like to subscribe, not only is it helping to support the channel, of course, but you're entering to win some free cards, which is pretty awesome. So please do check that out. But let's talk about Sonia's list here. Also, just a heads up, I will throw Sonia's link down below and tag him uh, because, again, Sonio created the list, but is also just a fantastic content creator. Highly encourage you to check him out. But this is essentially a reimagining of the initial Is It Dragons list, which was very much based on Galazeth Prismari as well as Goldspan Dragon. You can tell we both have the, we have both of these still in here. Uh, the trick is. We've got three Goldspan Dragons and one Galazeth Prismari versus where we used to have kind of more of both. It was usually the full four of, of, of the uh, Goldspan Dragon and at least two or three of the uh, Galazeths here. But what we get to add to the fray this time is the Swirling Sky. Kyari? Ky Kyri? Kyri, right? That's it. Uh, it's a 6-6 six, six for 6 with flying. It's got a ward cost of 3, so it's going to be a little tricky to deal with as well. And when it dies, you get to choose one. Return any number of target non-land permanents with total mana value 6 or less to their owner's hand. Uh, what that's going to do is obviously tempo the opponent, so it's going to make them a little bit slower. Hopefully bounce anything that we need to bounce, get it out of the way, so we can kind of finish off the game very cleanly. Or... Uh, mill six cards, then return up to two uh, instants and or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. That is a much more likely option. And you'll notice what we can do here is discard things like the big bad magma opus. Get that uh, treasure token, that initial treasure token to help ramp us, get this into the graveyard, and then later, if we can get that Kyrie down, it's just going to help bring it back for us so we can then play it later on, so we get kind of double activations off of it. Uh, you'll notice a lot of the deck is very, very removal heavy. Uh, we do have the Spike Field Hazards, of course. We've got the Dragonfire, Shatter Skull Smashing, Crush the Weak, Prismari Command, which certainly has some flexibility to it, but is definitely a removal spell. Uh, Draconic Intervention as well. Very powerful card. As an additional cost to cast this, exile an instant sorcery card from your graveyard. This deals X damage to each non-dragon creature, where X is that card's mana value. Uh, if a creature would die, you exile it instead. You'll notice that there is kind of a like sub-theme of exiling the creatures. I think that is so clever on Sonia's part. Uh, something that we see a lot right now, uh, things like in Mono White, the Lunark Veteran being able to disturb back. If we just hit it with a Spike Field Hazard, it is exiled. It cannot be brought back. Uh, and so we find a lot of exile mechanic in this deck, and I think that that's very much worth it. Uh, we do have Fading Hope, Stwari Disruption, Negate, things like that to help kind of deal with the opposing uh, threats as well. We've got that Memory Deluge to hopefully help draw us into some more stuff. That Unexpected Windfall, creating some treasure tokens, but then also drawing us into more stuff. Uh, and then finally, of course, we do have the Smoldering Egg. This is just a really kind of more of a long-term plan, of course. This generally eats hits pretty well in the beginning. And then uh, if it can flip, obviously it does ma massive, massive damage. Sometimes it gets bounced, sometimes it gets removed. It's fine either way, uh, but regardless, it's a very powerful card. One thing we do have in here is a one of Galvanic Iteration, and we can use this to copy whatever spell we'd like, most likely a Magma Opus, uh, but we can use that flashback cost so we can discard this to something like an Unexpected Windfall and still get the value off of it. So very, very powerful deck. I'm really excited to try this one out. One thing I did notice, there were no legendary lands from the new set in this list. In fact, the only real new card, I suppose, is the, the Kyrie, uh, which is kind of interesting. However, 
Uh, I do think Kyrie is a fantastic inclusion, and so I'm excited to see where the, we can go with this one, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into the games. Remember, please check out Sonio. Again, link down below. He did create this list. This is one for one his list. I want to make sure that we're crediting who we're crediting, and we're just having some fun with it. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. Uh, the question is, do we want to keep this? I think we can. We can use these expressive iterations to kind of hit the land drops that we're going to need. We have that negate and these Prismari commands. The hope is that we're not against something too fast because, um, as we saw in yesterday's video, uh, Mono White's uh, life gain is very, very prominent, and it's something that we're just going to have to be dealing with throughout this. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out on the blue side. I'm going to wait on the expressive iteration. One of the biggest mistakes I see is uh, playing that exp expressive iteration having already played a land. The goal is to play a land off of it and get a card into the hand, and I think so many people seem to lose that. I am going to go ahead and negate this just to, to slow them down a little bit here. Um, while I know that's not necessarily one of the biggest hits, I think it is important to do. All right, so we'll definitely take that unexpected windfall. We'll put that expressive iteration back, and we just get to play the red source here. So that... I think was just about perfect. We could have obviously gotten some other interaction, but I do actually like the unexpected windfall. It's going to get us that Kyrie, hopefully a little bit quicker here. Uh, and we do have a discard fodder for it. So we do have to, um, yeah, it's just one card. I was going to say, I was thinking maybe it's two, but it's not. So Prismari Command, fantastic in this situation actually as well. Uh, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and throw this out. Um, and I'm going to take the opportunity now. We're going to create a treasure token and destroy an artifact. Uh, so we can just go ahead and get rid of that mirror box, create a treasure token of our own. And at this point, we're really doing a pretty good job of handling a lot of their engine pieces. Now, they still get powerful creatures in this deck, so it is something we're going to have to consider. But again, we have an answer for it. Um, I think the play is to throw this down. And I think we... Uh, we create another treasure token and destroy another artifact we could be drawing some cards here i don't actually think we need to uh not quite yet we certainly can at some point but we kind of have what we need to get i would love to get like a magma opus or some big spell that we could use to uh to kill something here but again we've got a Kyrie coming down very soon and um we've done a pretty good job of neutering what they're trying to do they've only got three cards left in hand here uh and they may not have a very cheap creature if they can't play it right off of that, so that's kind of good for us. We also just have so many, or so much mana at this point, it's really good. So let's go ahead and play the Swirling Sky here, and we'll just pass. I'm not going to go ahead and Expressive Iteration yet. Again, we've already played our land for the turn. I'd like to do that when we've got a lot more mana available. Um, now they definitely have their engine pieces, but again, we've gotten so much down at this point. My hope is that we can kind of outpace them. Kyrie is going to be difficult to fight through for the opponent, I would imagine. Um, there's a Bergy. Okay. So they could have some kind of... Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, that's really, really good. Um, let's see. So that's all of our mana if we do that. Uh, that is kind of tricky. Um, so how do we want to do this? I think we attack in. Um, I do kind of just want to hit him with it and draw the cards. Uh, we can, we can actually bring this back later if we want. Uh, so we'll just do this. Oh, excuse me. This is an instant. We should wait until their turn. What am I doing? Um, what we can do is tap this down prior to combat. Um, and I think that that's pretty important. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh... We will deal four damage here. We'll tap this and tap this. Doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. And at this point, again, we're just tempoing them out here. So we're tapping this down. We're giving ourselves 10 damage, and they're tapped out for the turn. So at this point, it's just an easy way to uh, attack it and win. There you go, guys. That was the cleanest way I think we could have done that. That was absolutely perfect. I would love to see more games like that. Let's see if we can get another win. All right, guys, here we are for our second game. Uh, and the question really is, do we keep this? Because this is a bit of an interesting one. We do have a little bit of interaction as well as that expressive iteration. And the discard fodder is there for the windfall as well. I think we can try this. We'll see if it works out. 
probably gonna need to kill that. Um, <laughs> but we do have the pathway. Excuse me. Ooh. Um, so we do have a way to kill this. Goodness gracious. I just drank coffee, and so here we are. Um, <laughs> uh, I think we wait. What I'd love to see them do is throw a counter on something, and then we dragon fire it in response, so we can maximize this dragon's fire. Uh, one thing I do have to keep in mind is that we can play at instant speed, uh, and so a lot of things are are usable even on the opponent's turn here. So this is perfect. So they're going to get to attack in, throw a counter on something, and then we just get to dragon fire in response here. I'm going to decline to reveal a dragon. We don't need to. So let's just get that out of there, waste that trigger, uh, and essentially not their whole turn, but definitely a good bit of their turn there. All right, um, I think we expressive iteration. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what do we want? Put in one in our hand. I think definitely the Prismari command goes into our hand. We'll put that spike field hazard out and then we'll throw this here. Uh, and I think we could just play this out for the red side. Um, and this sets us up nicely for the next turn here. That's actually great. We can kill that. Um, I would love our sweeper. We do have some sweepers in the list, and it'd be great now because we can get rid of these little 2-2s. Two Wouldn't get rid of the 3-3 three three anymore, but it would really help us out. Okay. Interesting. Um, all right, so let's do this. Um, and I think the play is very clear to copy the dragon's fire. Although, again, I guess we can do it on, a, on our opponent's turn, so we really don't have to do it now. Um, again, I just have to keep in mind that we can play on our opponent's turn and not necessarily on uh, on our own. Um, and we do have that Goldspan Dragon to reveal, so what we can do is actually kill the 3-3 three -three very cleanly here um, and see where they throw that token. They did not activate the Asika's Chariot. Um, yeah, they are, they're saying oops here. Naturally, I think. Um, perfect. So what we can do is, and we don't even have to reveal the dragon to do this, uh, which is really great. I'm going to decline. We don't have to. So we'll kill that, and then we'll kill one of these, and then they're back down to just a 2-2, two -two, and they wasted their token as well. Um, or their 1-1 their one -one counter here. Uh, so now they just can't activate the chariot, which is fantastic. What we can do is Prismari Command, kill something, and kill the chariot if we need to. Alternatively, we do just have the uh, the Goldspan Dragon, but I think I actually like playing the Smoldering Egg and then playing the Prismari Command. I think that that's the play. So we can do this. Uh, again, we wait. I have to remember, we have to wait. Um, because, again, we can do this after activating the Asika's Chariots or in response to the, the counters being thrown on something. We just want to make sure that we're playing as cleanly as we can, so I think that this is definitely the, the, the call. Cool. Um, this is all fine. Uh, it's not great. I mean, the Mammoth is definitely a strong card. They do have Blizzard Brawls, I am sure, in the in the deck here. So what they can do is uh, play land, pump it up, and then use it to, to kill something. We do leave them with that one extra mana by not killing the Sculptor on our own turn. Um, but I think that's okay. Interesting. Okay, so what they might do is use this just to, to crew that Asika's Chariot. I don't know why they tapped both. Did they need to? They didn't. That was kind of odd. Um, all right, so again, we're gonna... Uh, we should have... Ah, bit of a mistake on my end. I should have done something else, but that's okay. Let's do this and let's destroy target artifacts. So let's kill this and this. Get three counters here. We get to kill both of these. Okay, and that doesn't actually trigger because we killed the token. So, good for us. We did it. Um, we found the line. That was actually a bit of a sketch one, though. We could have done something preemptively there and actually been better off, but that's okay. All right, so I think we just go in for the Goldspan Dragon here. I am going to attack in. We are facing down quite a bit of damage, but I think we have a turn here. Um, and we don't have any kind of interaction right now. So at this point, it's just a matter of we do the best we can and hope it's, hope it's going to work. We could have unexpected windfall, I suppose, just a flip, um, but... 
Uh, this does need seven Ember counters on it, so that would have given us the four that we needed. Uh, we could have discarded a Windfall to a Windfall to do that. Um, that might have been the better play, in hindsight. Just because, you know, if we had gotten like a Dragon's Approach, or not a Dragon's Approach, um, Dragon's Fire, excuse me, or some other kind of removal spell, we actually could have been in really good shape there. But, um, we went for the aggressive play. That probably was incorrect, I think. Uh, but regardless, I think up until now, we've actually played quite cleanly. Uh, and I think in the first game, we did really well, too. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good today, guys. That's all I'm saying. We'll, we might lose. I don't know. But still, I think, you know, we're doing the best we can. They're attacking with the Mammoth, which makes me think they might have... Oh, they can just get to throw the 1-1 counter on it. Duh. Okay. Um... Do we think they have a Blizzard Brawl is really the question here. I think we take the risk. I don't know. I'm not sold at all. <laughs> um, but I think we're going to take the risk. We'll see what they've got here. If they have the Blizzard Brawl, that really sucks because we took unnecessary damage. And I think they probably do. They do. Uh, though they're going to use it on the Goldspan Dragon, which is kind of interesting. So here what we can do is just go ahead and auto pay. We're going to discard this one. This is going to flip. I guess we could have... Well, no, we couldn't have waited, actually. We had to do this now. Um, all right. Interesting. Uh, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Because now we've got, like, a lot of mana available to us. That's kind of the trick. So do we want to create a treasure token and use this, killing, like, this little guy? Oh, actually, you know what we can do? Ha! <laughs> I see the line. I see it, guys. We did it. All right, let's do this. We're going to deal two damage here, and we're going to create a treasure token. Uh, this is going to deal two damage to this as well. Um... And this is all happening prior to the Blizzard Brawl. So that kills it before the Blizzard Brawl can work, and that fizzles it. Yes! I'm feeling good today, guys. We may still lose this game, but man, that was... That was definitely the play. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. All right, cool. They are now down to no cards in hand. They can't activate this yet. Uh, granted, they've got some big, powerful stuff, but we'll see what we can do here. I really wish we could do both of these. So let's see, can we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we can, if we attack here, we actually can double the magma opus. Is that correct? So I think we attack just here. I'm not gonna worry about attacking with the other yet. Um, so if we do this, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's enough to double this. And it deals two damage here just to kill this. Sure. I'm just trying to get rid of their board at this point, so anything we can do to make that happen seems really good. All right, and we still have enough to magma open. We're gonna deal four here. We actually don't... Yeah, okay, so the two damage can just hit them. Okay, cool. We'll tap these two. Uh, cool. Auto pay. Man, I'm really liking this deck. Um, I'm not gonna lie. We'll deal the two damage here, uh, just to go ahead and get a little bit more going. And then we get the other four, so we're just gonna tap this, and it doesn't matter what we tap at this point. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this seems really good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, so we don't get the extra two because we didn't cast the second one. We just copied it, to be clear. All right. They do get a lot of stuff here, but we just refilled our board and our hand in basically one fell swoop. Uh, and I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> um, I was thinking we were dead. I'm not gonna lie. And we might still be because they do have quite a bit here, but I think we can make this work. Uh, they have to sacrifice the lands to do this as well, which is kind of awesome for us. Um, they could activate the Ranger class. I think that's probably the best bet. Although they kind of have to 
yeah, they, I guess, kind of have to do something here. And there we go, guys. We got the second win. What a game that was. That was fantastic, guys. Wow. All right, let's jump into one final game. Let's see if we can go undefeated with this. All right, guys, here we are. This will be our final game, but what do we want to do here? Uh, let's see. I think we can keep this. It's a little tricky, but we do have that just Jawari disruption, which I actually really like here. We'll see if this works. Um, I'm not super sold. I'll be honest. This might be a bit of a tricky one, but we're going to do the best we can. Uh, I would love just a red source off the top. That is not a red source. Uh, with that in mind. I really want to keep the smashing. Ugh, we'll try it this way. I'm not super sold on this. I want to keep the smashing because it is a removal spell. And obviously we do see that they are on mono green. So like, you know, we want to keep as much of that as we can get. But here we're kind of getting punished for it. Um... Let's play that Field of Ruin. Let's leave up the Jawari Disruption here. We'll see if this actually pans out. I'd love to have had that Smoldering Egg out, but um, I think what they might try and do is just like a Seeker's Chariot this turn, in which case we can just Jawari Disruption it uh, and get hopefully a good bit of extra value off of it. Yes, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's get that out of there. Just kind of blank their turn uh, as best we can. All right, so then this is kind of the trick. I wish I had played that on turn one so we didn't have this issue, but now we can drop that smoldering egg and uh, and just have a blocker. We really desperately need a land here, though. Uh, any land would be fine because we could get the Galazeth Prismari out. If it's a red land, we can actually go ahead and Unexpected Windfall to get this down. That is a very, very scary card. Uh, all right. Not feeling as confident this time, that's for sure. Okay, that actually does help, though. Uh, so... Hold on. Hold on. I think we wait. Yeah, we definitely just wait. So what we can do is Dragon's Fire reve revealing the Galazeth Prismari to deal with the Oddity. Um, but we are kind of just stuck on mana here, which is a really sad thing. Um, hopefully I don't have a Snakeskin Veil. I don't think they do but we'll see we'll uh reveal a dragon card revealing that prismari this is going to get a couple counters on it and then theoretically we can get this ovenwald oddity out of here um wait wait wait, wait, wait. what to its power I'm dumb. Oh no, I was playing so well up until this point. Okay, whoops. <laughs> that really sucks. I thought it was, I thought it was mana cost, guys. Clearly, I don't play with Dragon's Fire enough. I thought it was equal to the mana cost. That was just a mistake on my end. Ugh, that feels terrible. It is what it is, guys. You can't help it. Um, it was just a mistake on my end. But uh, let's put. <laughs> Uh, let's put the dragon fire in hand. We'll put the gold span into our deck and we'll get to, uh, play the land here. Man, that really sucks. I feel really silly, but again, it is what it is. You can't help it. Um, not really feeling too optimistic about this one, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, what we, no, we can't even do that because we don't have double red. I was going to say what we could do is, uh, galvanic iteration on the dragon's fire, but it doesn't work. Um, and we couldn't take both Goldspan and Dragon's Fire that turn, which would have been really killer because we could have revealed, you know, but our land situation is rough right now, guys. Very, very rough. You can go ahead and throw out the Galazeth, but I think we're just dead here. Um, yeah. Man, what a rough, uh, a rough game. That was so stupid. I can't believe I did that. That's okay. Can we survive the turn? Um, hmm. So they're going to attack with everything. That makes sense. Uh, we block here. And I guess there. And then we just die. So then we have to block here. And we're dead anyway. All right. Fine. Well... That was just a mistake on my end, unfortunately. But 
Guys, let's talk about this list. Let's uh, let's see what we think about it. All right, so given terrible misplays aside, uh, I think this deck is actually really, really good. Uh, we saw it do just absolute wonders against a board presence that was really commanding. I mean, that, uh, that second game in particular, I was very much on the ropes the entire time. I thought I was done for, uh, but we found a way out and we were able to get that victory. And I think that, you know, sometimes it's going to be obviously easier to dig out of situations like that than others based on the draws that you get and that kind of stuff. But all in all, I think this deck has the tools that you need to make that possible. And I think that's that's really the key, right? You you just want to have the availability of those, you know, little tech pieces or those little things that you can use to win the game as best you can. If you get them, great. If you don't, it is what it is. But all, in, all of that said, uh, this is a ph phenomenal deck. I, I really, really like it. Uh, Kyrie, great. We didn't really get to see Kyrie do her thing. Like, she didn't die, so we didn't actually get any of the uh, the benefits of her ability. However, it it cleanly won the, the first game very, very cleanly, very quickly as well. So, uh, I, I love this deck. Sonio, you did a phenomenal job with this one. Thank you so much for sharing this over on Aether Hub. Again, guys, please go check out Sonio. He will be tagged down below. Uh, so just go hang out with him and watch his channel. It's phenomenal stuff. He does a lot of great builds as well. So all in all, guys, I love this one. Definitely recommend it, especially if you've been playing Is It Dragons. It's kind of a, a small change. You really don't have to do too much to make this one uh, out of the cards that you probably already have. So I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you again very soon.